What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Commander vs. Series Season 22, Episode 9. Stephen Green, John Suarez, Jeremy Knoll, and Justin Parnell. Hi. How you doing, it's little, Stephen? It's a little awkward pause right there. I just wanted to throw that high in there. So I, I did my job to introduce to everybody. I know. You were too fast this time. <laughs> There's no pod that, he, that you had, so yeah, had I can never get it. I can never get it right. I can never get it right. It takes so, practice, and I understand you've not done it enough times, so I'll yeah. forgive you. You know what they say: two hundred fiftieth times the charm. So I got about fifteen more to go, and maybe I'll get it. Uh, anyway, we are playing a theme this week that we have played for a really long time, and is not only one of the most popular themes with you the viewers, but also one that all of us really love. And that is add a color. So what we do for this theme is we take any commander and then we simply add one color to that commander's color identity. Usually we end up picking like mono or single color, single colored commanders, or in Steven's case, he actually picked a colorless commander one time and then add one color to that. Uh, and we find it's more fun when you can kind of narrow down uh, rather than adding like a color to a three color deck or a four color deck or a five color deck, because there's not going to be enough purple cards for it even to make a difference. It's so, not even remotely. Yeah. Not yet. It's funny not you mentioned that colorless thing because Ben Bawa suggested that I take a white commander and take white out of it and fill the rolls. That was his suggestion. That yeah. sounds about right. Remove a color. Yep. Been there, done that. Yep. So, uh, so we're playing Add a Color this week, but last week, when we were playing Kaldheim Uncommon Legendaries, uh, I believe that even though Steven may not have won, uh, justice was served. Would you agree with that statement, Steven? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still feel that the Manalus needs some avenging. Like there's the 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 first week was the uh, one of a two part series. You know, you never know. That's how strongly saying, I feel about my man. Are, are you saying you added reds for for Hellkite Tyrant here too? Is that what you're saying? God, I wish I didn't. I should have thought yeah. about that to mm. relive my dream again. Yeah. Are you saying you're going to play that deck again at some point? I just might even the... just make that deck for my home. Same nice. like says Manalus. He's he's talked he's yeah. talked about him for yeah. weeks. I got a foil yeah. one out of a collector's uh, boosty, so you know I a got Manalus? one to actually yeah to actually put in play instead of drawing one that I didn't draw last week. Well, uh, the points as they stand leave uh, me in first with twenty five for getting a barely win last week, and everybody else, Jeremy, John, Stephen are all tied for last with twenty one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of felt like I caught up to them with the uh, five pointer I got four pointer. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. keep feeding Justin the wins, Stephen. Let's see if you can make it another week. I didn't feed him. I just didn't kill him. Uh, you kind of fed him last week. Uh, you You've kind of fed him a couple of weeks in a row. What Let's happened? Do it again. Was... Oh, okay. What had happened to us? So all I know is that three of you are going to be rolling to see who goes first. Hmm. The fact that you said that makes you're in the sights now, Justin. I was going to well, say, Stephen, I was just going to let you go first because that's rules. how it works. And I'm not just, yeah. I'm not going to try and steal it's your purse. It's not how so. it works. It's not how it works. It the people as far as I'm concerned, Stephen, you're going to go first. It's been decided. I'm, well, if you I'm, all want to agree, Jeremy, if you agree to that, then Stephen can go first. I don't care. Justin's just trying to first. steal second. That's what's wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. He's, trying to, yeah. he's just trying to steal second now. Justin is a bad guy. It's coming out. I'm literally just, oh... I'm always the person that I read a rule in a rule book in a board game. People are like, oh, I don't like that. And well, this, this is the rule. exact same. There's, there's there's no rule. Turns, Turns out, out Justin has been trying to steal going first multiple times this season. Yeah. Everyone else is trying to steal second. First, first, yeah. first of all, I've successfully done it twice, so I haven't exactly. tried. Yeah. What and happens, when you, have, what happens when you have two rules that conflict with each other, Justin? It's what whichever one works out the rule. The two rules that are conflicting with each other is that the people that are in last place all roll to see who goes first, but it's roll. also whoever's in the upper Top left left hand corner goes yeah. first. Correct. We've been doing this for years, Justin. This is how it's always been. We have not been doing this for years. We've <laughs> oh, been doing this for years. Well, so. right there. 
We've been well, in yeah. this configuration for almost one year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And previously, we didn't have the technology to change seats. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so let's not say that's a very that's recent true. thing. <laughs> It feels kind of, like here. Kind of feels like we don't have the technology. To anyway, change now. we're cutting this off. Let's see what everybody did for their deck techs and what color they added to these commanders. For the add a color theme this week, I wanted to play something that was going to be like pretty okay on its own, but would really benefit from adding another color to it. So there were a couple of different options. The one I ended up going with was Gadrek the Crown Scourge. So it's pretty easy to actually play a mono red artifact themed deck but I figured I kind of wanted to go a little bit more with the treasures that it makes. So I added black so that I could make more treasures with certain cards that are you know, pirates and things like that. And then also have revel in riches as another way to actually close out the game. So hopefully we can just build up a bunch of treasures, win with one of our couple of win cons that really care about either treasures or a lot of artifacts, or just swing in with a really big cheap commander. This week's deck deck, we're playing Psy Master Thoughters. And I opted to choose the color black as my hat color. I wanted access basically to Marionette Master and Bolus is simple. I thought those two cards might be cool, especially if I get some artifacts in that were just the cost of other artifacts and I could just chain play cards off the top of my library, which would be really awesome. Maybe even pseudo aristocrat someone with size sacrifice ability and mirror and master out. Probably not gonna happen. What's likely to happen is I make a bunch of thopters and I just kill them with those. So for this week in Add a Color, I'm finally playing someone that I've wanted to play for a while when we do this theme, and that is Balthor the Defiled. Uh, the ability to bring back black and red creatures finally with this commander seems really, really sweet, and it's something you don't get to do in a normal commander game. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, my fellow players have scouted a little bit and have all decided they wanted to get in on the fun. So hopefully we'll still be able to take advantage of Balthor's insane ability and steal the game from everyone. So this week for Add a Color, I'm playing Lovisa Cold Eyes and matting the best color in Magic, black. And like I've done for the last several weeks, I'm gonna be playing a ton more Call Time cards and I'm actually playing a black, red, berserker tribal deck. Something I'd like to do for add a color every time is add a color identity to the commander to let it do something it can't normally do. And you're probably asking yourself, well, Justin, couldn't you just play mono red, berserker tribal? And I would say, yes, you could. But like most one color tribal decks, especially one that's as underserved as berserkers, usually the decks end up being one note. So adding black allows me to get a lot more recursion and card advantage to make sure that I can actually push through with the already very aggressive deck to make sure that I can do it for the entire table over the course of the game. So, I'm gonna see if I can do my best Wolverine impression, get my Berserker Barrage on, and we'll see you in the game. You guys got dice out. Steven goes first. I will gladly take this, but unlike no. some people, I'm willing to be fair. Who's not willing to be fair? We need well, to we, we bully John into being fair, I feel. He didn't want to let you Here. roll for it. All right. Did Jeremy roll a nine? He did not. No, I didn't roll anything. But I rolled a nine. I rolled snake eyes. Hey. And everything is the way it was supposed to be. That's correct. And Justin's going last. That's all it's in that. That all it's all in <laughs> I'll play a sunken hollow tapped. I bet you will. John. I bet I'll you will. I'll play. Bet you will. A swamp. Good. I will play command tower and pass. I will play a tapped foreboding ruin and pass. Hmm. So much Rakdos. I will play a island foreboding and pass. Okay. Very foreboding. I'm going to play a sulfur springs and a Rakdos signet. All right. All right. I don't like I'm, it. I'm done. Well, you can mana leak it or force spike it or whatever you want. Yeah. A null. I'm going to null it. Swamp. So many things. You want to counter this little part cutthroat? Hey -o. That's a much better card. All right. I will play a Cavern of Souls, and I'm going to name Berserker. 
Hmm. Berserker. Yes. And then I'm going to play a Berserker of the Dwarven variety. I'm going to remand it. You're definitely not, but I'm past the time. Great. That would be so yeah, great. I, I don't, I'm not going to, but I'm the old to do it. Berserker gets remanded. Yeah. <laughs> so, establish dominance move, okay? Yeah, it's just to show you where you stand. Yeah, yeah it definitely I'm going to uh, play side. It would also be the first time anyone would have ever uh, remanded a Dwarven Berserker. <laughs> All so, done there, Steven? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. You don't know what's going on in people's commander games? You're assuming. That's true. I know what's true. not going on. I will give you, I will I will gladly tell you that you are, you're pretty right. That, that's not <laughs> yeah, going on, but... <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to play a Swamp, and I'm going to play Pawn of Ulamog. All right, okay. all right. And I'll, all be, right. I'll be done after that. All right. Everybody had to have a turn two or turn three creature. You can't just let me have that first, first blood. That is correct. That is why you all did it. I get it. True. Uh, swamp. Um, her mountain. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to cast Treasure Nabber. Okay. And then I'll watch pass the turn. turn. Yeah, I gotta watch that signet. Getting a little nabby. All right. I will draw. Can't be uh, not in green. Can't be land ramping. So I got to steal people's artifacts. Yeah, look at that solar ring it's holding. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna play a Skimfar Avenger, which is an elf berserker. Hmm. Is that the three one? It's it a three is. one. Ever uh, another uh, non-token elf or berserker I control dies, I draw a card and lose life. Hmm. And then I'm going to attack because berserkers be attacking. They don't plus three plus, that one gets plus three plus oh. Plus three plus oh and trample, most importantly. Hmm. If it's blocked. If it is blocked. Um, you know, I'm going to attack Steven because I'm willing to trade my Dwarven Berserker for his Psy. Psy Master Thopterus. And I don't think he's willing to do it. And you know I'm willing to do it. I think he's, I think he's just going to take one. And I get a card out of it, so. Choices. Yeah. You just can give him that point, Steven? I mean, well, if I block and I can't recast Psy, you're just going to take the point. So He gets the, the point either way because of tramples. So. Yeah. No, oh, Psy's wow. a 1 for it. Oh, it's a 1 for. 4. Yeah. yeah, but you would rather one of the three of us get it, Steven, than him. Don't just let him pat his lead. No, I'm you know what? I'm fine yeah. trading this and drawing a card for your commander. So You lose a life too, okay. don't you? It's okay. <laughs> of course I get attacked first. Come on, Justin. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you're the least likely to block. John, John would immediately snapped. block. Yeah, immediately. All right. But you still would have gotten first blood. I would have, True. but I ultimately don't want my creature to die, but if it's going to die, I want it to trade with someone's commander. I'm going to play a Fabled Passage. I'm going to go ahead and crack this, but I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, hmm. Play an island. Go ahead. We're going to play a Foundry Inspector. Yeah, Ooh. that's a good one. We'll tap that for mana. <laughs> Get us a Nick Miller out. And, uh, Justin, what's that other card? A 3-1? There's a 3-1, yeah. I'm going to attack you back for one. I'll take one. That's fine. <laughs> you done, Steven? Love it. Yeah, Love it. Alright, so I'm play Mountain. So if I tap my Rakdos signet, Jeremy, you get it for a turn? I do get it until the end of my next turn. Will, will you give it back? Of course I will. Okay. Will you give it back in play, or will you put it back in my graveyard? <laughs> I'll give it back no, to you in your graveyard. <laughs> oh, really? Because you. <laughs> that matters to me, Jeremy. It really matters. That's fine. You get it back. Alright. So, let's see. There's one, two, and three will give me that. Five mana available.
All right. Jeremy, I just don't I don't know about you. <laughs> what do you what do you mean? I don't know what you're talking no. about. I have another <laughs> artifact I really want to tap in my hand too, so it's like Oh, uh, probably should get rid it. of that treasure never. Do it. It's great. I can't get rid of the treasure never. It's oh my gosh. He's just gonna be nabbing treasures. I didn't know if Left I could play my deck with that card in play. Left All right. right. There's a Rakdos signet. Yay. Oh, he's nabbed it. Oh, hey, look, I happen to have this Rakdos signet already written out. Well, he wasn't here's, prepared here's an at arcane all. signet. Oh boy, arcane oh, signet. Oh man. There's the four with the arcane signet. Uh, we'll leave the actually let's do three. We'll do Priestigix. No, oh, three black mana into Chainer Nightmare Adept. Oh, that's a good one. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. So these are Jeremy's. Yes. All right. Wowie, 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 zowie, wowie, zowie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really have any good attacks, so I'll just say go. All right. I appreciate you. You're welcome. But give them back at the end of your turn. Preferably untapped. Preferably untapped. I bet they will not be untapped at all. Bet they're going to be super tapped. Super tapped, he says. As long as they've been tapped twice so that they untap, that's fine. Is it just for mana? Like, if I attack, does he get it? No, it's just 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 for for mana. mana. Okay. If it's tapped. That would be a really busted card. Terramore. It's an artifact taps. I am going to tap both of these. Wow, that was fast. To tap to create this fire diamond. Wow, no one will be able to take that because you have the treasure nabber. I'm gonna go get a swamp. You know how sweet that deck would be with treasure nabber and turnabout, and you just tap all your opponent's artifacts. Oh. And I am going to play Gadrak, the Crown Scourge. Uh, and then you are I... one artifact short of it having. The attack ability. Correct. And then I will pass the turn. Now I'm three artifacts. They are back in your turn. Oh, okay, so okay. these are mine. I will draw. This and I'm going to play a mountain. And I'm going to play. Uh, Fearless Liberator. I guess I'll okay. tap that with Cavern of Souls. That's the boaster, right? Yep, sure. It is yeah. a boaster. Make Makes more workers. And then I'm going to foretell this to keep it a secret. Hmm. How secret is it, really? It's Safe. very secret y. No one, no one can know. Hmm. What is eight H H H? It's not. It's oh, it's S. it's triple H. It's a triple H token. I got you. Yeah, yeah. There, is that clear? Very clear now. <clears throat> That's an S. Now it's perfectly clear. Shh. It's shushing. You attacking anybody? Annoying man who shushes. It's a vexing shusher. Um. Well, I like attacking. I know. That's why I asked. I'm ready to block whenever you're ready to attack. Him, <laughs> well, I so. know you're ready to block. Uh, Jeremy, I will attack you for one. I will take one. Yep. All right. Can you, I am dragging uh, that block. It can only. Oh, it, it can, can block. I just don't want to block with a I'm five happy four right to now. trade my dwarven berserker for anyone's commander. That's just going to be for the whole game. The blanket rule. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it's a, it's a vexing shusher because it shushes and it vexes Steven in that he does not know what it is. Sure, he has no clue. He can play a master of Ethereum. Ooh. Ooh. Master. Master Thopterist, master of Ethereum. Have you got a master of puppets another. in there? Another. Marionette Master. He's got a Marionette Master. Mm. I bet. He's got to if he's playing Psy. Mm-hmm. Black. Can't not have that. I don't really have another artifact to cast this turn, so I'm going to cast this Rhystic Study. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. That Ooh, is a you, card. Who are you ooing? He sounded excited. Ooh, Jeremy's that's... always excited for Rhystic Study. I'm not excited that he played Rhystic Study against three Rakdos decks. <laughs> I'm in a despair right now. 
I'll give Jeremy the mana off my artifact so he can make sure he pays for the Rhystic study every time. Yeah. Yep. I'll be limited to the mana I have plus paying for my spells with your mana. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to attack someone? John's still at 40. Look at that I 40 sure line. am. I sure am at 40. You have a 2-3 Ulamog creature token person maker. It's a 2-2, two, two, a 2-1, two, 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 and a 3-2. Two. All on the ground, no flying. Nick Miller can hop on over if he would like. Yeah, we'll attack with him. Nick attack. Miller, Nick Miller. Take you for two in the air. From the uh, that's rude. Chicago. You decided to put me at 38 first. But okay. whatever. And then um, I'll pass the turn. Look at all that, all that artifact mana that John has. Mm hmm. Come to me, my precious. Hmm. No, I don't want it to come to you. I think it's gonna, though. But I don't want it to, so maybe it won't. Can I kill this treasure nabber? It might kill everything. Hmm. No, not, not, not that kind of hand. We don't have the kill everything kind of hand. Who can I attack profitably? I can definitely attack Justin. What do you got, a 3-2 and a 3-1? Yeah. Well, I have a three, a three one, and a two one. Mm -hmm. I'll block though. Yeah, but I think I'm okay with that. Does the three one elf draw you a card if it dies, or another? Another. Okay, so not it. But this so is would... this, this is a berserker. Yeah, yeah, you would trade your two one. I got you. I would. I would and I will. It's getting ready would for it already. Will. Hmm. Um. I don't really have anything good to play. No. Feel free but to test me. Tap, but tap I, don't like, it's fine. I don't like just sitting here. Yeah, just tap those. To be honest. Yeah. That's kind of what it's about. I don't really like to just, just hang out. So. Yeah, don't just Jeremy, you really want my artifacts, don't you? No. I want to pay for the Rhystic study. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb. Let's set these here. Um... All right, whatever. I'll I'll draw some attention. Let's do uh two, three, four, five, six. I'll play Gray Merchant of Asphodel. I'll take two from the ancient tomb. All right, so he's going to lose two, but you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So eight, yeah. you're gonna gain eighteen. Uh, so you're going to go to thirty-six. Gain sixteen total. Yeah, you're going to gain sixteen total. I paid Stephen. Right. I tapped six. So you're going to go to fifty-four. That's an I ancient see. tomb. I, I paid. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I see five. That's why. I, I know. Tell. That's why I said ancient tomb. I took two. We're each going to lose it. six, and John's going to go to fifty-four. So I'll go to thirty-three. Everyone goes to thirty-three. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm going to be done after that. Not going to give me those. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I will. That's super lame. Oh, you can't attack with your Gadrak now. Not right now. Maybe soon. If you want to go to combat, maybe I'll tap it. Yeah. Yeah, like declare attacker step, and then he'll tap it. How about I play this Ashnut's Altar? Two. And then I play this Mirage Mirror. That's three. That is not four, though. It's not. Well, depends on what you want to do with that Gadrak. Yeah, I'm wondering if I want to sack this treasure neighbor, but it's you so didn't pay the tax on the second one, right? I didn't pay the tax on, paid either. Tax on either of oh. them. She was like, well, well, well. Okay, hmm. I can dig it. I can dig it. Should mm -hmm. we have many a card here? Uh, um. I will just pass the turn. No, dude, go to go to combat there, Jeremy. Move, you gotta go move, to combat. That's move, part of move to combat. That's part of your stuff. That's part of your things. Yep, moving to combat. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap arcane signal. Okay, I get the arcane. Are you gonna do anything with that mana? I'm not. Well, you know this Gadrick really wants to come at you right now. But God, I, I, I would that's love, really messed I would up love. if you just attack me with it. It's not really that messed up. He just drained. He just gained eighteen life. 
Yeah, you it's just still messed 18. up. I just gave you the opportunity to to attack with it. That's incredibly messed up. Yeah. Yeah. you know what? You're right, John. And it would be terrible of Jeremy to not take this opportunity to attack the person. To attack the person life. in the first place. I agree completely. Attack the person who just gained 18 life. Wow. All right. Cool. Good job, Jeremy. Good yeah, job. I applaud I'm proud of you. Sweet. And now I'm gonna pass the turn. I thought that was nice. Yeah. That yeah, was the I'll word just, for it. I'll just say this for the record, Justin. Yes. You can't be attacking John. Come again? You can't be attacking John. Feel it's free. not worth the risk. Feel free to attack. Not, it's not worth the risk to attack John at this point. Yeah, because, oh, I know, because he'll, he'll bend Gray Merchant and then be able to yeah. get it back. Yeah, we don't, just don't, don't even look his way. We'll figure out a different way to kill him. Maybe little little Nick Millers to the air and getting bigger. Don't we all? Okay. I'm going to attack Jeremy for uh for three. This is a two one. This is a one one. Hmm. <laughs> do I want to do that? No, I'll take three. Okay. I think you're about to boast some. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very boastful. I'm not feeling very boastful right well, now. Berserkers are boastful, though. Yes. Yes, they are. It's true. Uh, even though this would be better later. I think I really want to play it right now. Yeah, I'll just play it right now. I'm going to play Carter Doom Scourge. Is that with the tax or without it? I can't pay the tax. <laughs> when, when Carter enters the battlefield, until my next turn... Creatures my opponents control attack each combat if able and attack a player other than me if able. Hmm. And then whenever, whenever an attacking creature dies, each of you lose a life and I gain a life. Sounds very goading. Goady? I learned it from John. I wasn't normally going to play this card. I was like, what would John do? He would play well, Carter as well, the known goader. So do you not like Jeremy? Because we what? just established I shouldn't be attacking John, but then you forced me to... I think it's your to, turn. I think it's your turn, Steve. Yeah, then you I'm forced done. me to attack John. <laughs> or Jeremy. You got flying creatures. Attack him with your flying creatures. What about those three ground creatures? Well, don't... Don't. Yeah, don't. It's good advice. Yeah. Thank you. I thought it was great advice. I'm going to cast a Monic Tutor. Ah, yes. The 12 cards you drew in between your last turn weren't enough. Yeah, we we're playing a fun game here. You're like, I'm just going to go get the best card. I don't know what I'm going to get. He's kind of forcing me to get something here. Actually, do you know what I have to, I'm going to get? I've already picked my card. I just have to find it. Sure, whatever you say. Take your time. No one's in a rush. We're all just happily waiting. Okay, that's good. I got it. Waiting for you to do something sweet, though. We are waiting for you to do something sweet. That is true. What you got, Steven? I'm going to cast Ethereum Sculptor. Okay. Okay. Get another right. Nick Miller. And then I'm going to be forced to go to attackers. And... Huh. Make your hay. Foundry Inspector is going to attack Jeremy. Yep. As is Psy. And the yep. rest of it is going at John. How so big is Ethereum Sculptor? Or Master of Ethereum? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. 
It's three tokens, an Ethereum sculptor, a master, and a foundry. So okay. Oh, yes. I, yeah. So you, you got your land for return, Stephen? I have not. Yeah. You got a 3 2 and a 1 4 coming at me? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. That I'll is correct. Block the 1 4 with my 3 2 treasure and ever. Yep. Um, I'll take 3. No block on that one. Priest the Gix is going to hop in front of your Master with Ethereum. Okay, so you took four? Yeah, in there. All right. I'll go ahead and play my land for the turn. Yep. Is that a scavenging ground? It is. John, yeah. sniffed, it. John sniffed it out. Yep, yeah, sure did. That's not a lot I could do. I could have, I guess, demonic tutored after combat, but you would have asked me the same if I played a land, I'm pretty sure. Sure would have. Yeah. Yeah, I think you would have. I don't think that would have changed a whole lot. And then I will... Um, man, I didn't realize I should do this before coming. I'm going to play Hangerback Walker for one. So for one mana? One, right? Uh, oh, no, it's mana. reduced by X, yeah. Reduce, reduce twice. Oh, reduce twice, yeah. 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 And... I'm done. Right. Yep. I get a treasure token. And one creature dies. One Jeremy, Justin treasure. gained a life. Nope. Nope. No, Sorry. no. It's only when a attacking creature up. dies, not oh, a okay. not a blocking creature. And this is beginning of your end step. I apologize. We did. Weird. Uh, what's his name goes off? Zulaport goes off for the creature down. It's Zulaport only creature. Yeah, that's that's not blood artist. Yeah, blood artist is any creature. This one is my creatures, but is a one one instead of a zero. Well, and it's each opponent, not just target opponent. Yeah, they they swap. Blood artist is any creature, one opponent. Zulpor Cutthroat is one one creature, your creature, all opponents. Mm -hmm. I'll take two. Yeah, you take that too. I'll cast plenty Balfour. of life to spare. Balfour the Defiled. It's going to be Defiling. Styling and Defiling. Seems okay. Now, how many minions you got? Uh, I think just Nightmare Adept. I don't know that Grey Merchant, I imagine, is not a minion. It's not. It's just, priest, it's priest a, gets in the graveyard. Just a zombie. Man, your general doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I guess this technically has to attack if I don't use it, so maybe I just use that over this mountain uh, for mana. Sure. Yep. That's just paying the tax, right? Yes. Jeremy. All of me? Sir. Uh, yeah, most certainly. Huh. Every bit of it. What does Chainer say again? It's a 4-3. I can discard a card to cast a creature card from my graveyard. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, if I didn't cast it from my hand against haste. So your Balfour... I, I cast. I cast this. I didn't cast it from my. I guess I didn't cast it from my hand. You didn't cast it from your hand. Yeah. Oh, so it does have to attack. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. The treasure number is a two three, right? Three two. Three two. That's fine. Whatever. All right, and your chainers a uh, four three. Mm hmm. All right. I will. Hmm. I will. Uh, hmm. block chainer and I guess take the rest sure it's just six six uh, let me double check that Balthor is not a minion he's a zombie dwarf legend I, I'm aware that it says it on the card, but it is from Torment, so you know. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it, it seems pretty clear. It uh, might be a minion, I... but it definitely doesn't give itself a bonus. I don't think it's a minion. 
Uh, let's see. It is. Even if it is, it doesn't matter. A legendary creature, zombie dwarf. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's very specific for its era. So you are blocking Chainer with a what? A 3 2? Two? 3 2. Okay. So Chainer's going to die. Yep. And, and Treasure Hammer's going to die. Six. Yep. And Sorry. then Zulaport triggers. Everybody loses one. I gain one. So, and then also Carter triggers. Everyone loses one. I gain one. So Jeremy and I, nothing changes. And Steven and John both lose two. Sure. Oh, and okay. I am done. Okay. Oh, dear. That's a card. Oh, Where dear. I'm just forgetting. Well, how did I get to 31? You Holy were at Gray 33. Merchant. You were at 39 for my initial attack. You lost six from John's Gray Merchant. John's you just lost Gray two. Merchant. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, well, yeah. I lose that job. I've played an attack one time. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I have to attack, right? You do have to attack. That is if, true. If able. I cannot Jeremy, attack. Gadrick. Jeremy, you can attack me. It's fine. You can attack John. John doesn't have any blockers. He has an O one. If I could attack, I would attack. now there you can go. attack. Now I can attack. Um, and then I will move to combat both at John. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. I will just offer not to block it so the port cut through. Uh, so five, six total coming at you. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see what you cast to know if you paid. I uh, cast scrap trawler. Trawler, okay. and I will, I, will, I will pay the one. Yeah, I okay. forgot that, to do that. So I'll pay the one there. Um... I will pass the turn. All righty. All right. Dragon Skull Summit. I like a Dragon Skull Summit. I am going to... All right. Uh, I need it to not be my view. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. All right. I'm going to cast a Dockside Extortionist. Ooh, I got it, though. Just straight up counter spell. Regular old counter spell. Yep. Well, that wasn't nearly as fun as I wanted it to be. Yeah. Change, change some things there for you. Yeah. yeah you got. It was too much. I have a little too many artifacts. For you to One of my few non-berserkers, so I couldn't make it uncounterable. Uh, I yeah, fifth, you would have got fifteen treasures from that. Is that right? Fifteen. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> you know, give or take, give or yeah. take, yeah. or or give exactly fifteen. Yeah, yeah. you're well. You're welcome. <laughs> well, no, John, Jeremy could have sacrificed some. I could have, yeah. Yeah. Sacrificed this. I could have I guess he could have made that a new creature sacrifice if I wanted yeah. to. I don't think he would have though. Probably not. I'm gonna yeah. assume you paid the tax on that. I'll let you decide right now. I don't really Well care. now I'm gonna pay the tax. Yeah. Tax is tax hath hath been paid. Uh you know, I think that I'm just gonna attack Actually, it's just not going to matter. I'm going to just pass the turn. I'm going to pass the turn. End of your look turn. At, look at Mr. Doesn't have Before to attack. the end of the turn. Yeah, do whatever, John. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll... There's no more more. Uh, no more thing, snatchy, right? snatchy grabby, no. No more snatchy grabby? No. All right, I'm going to return these two to play. Return all... Brain all black and, and, and red. And Oxide Extortionist? Black. Black and red. Oh, it does black and red. God, yeah. I hate yep. that you All both. Righty, yep. Doc. No, not yeah. doing it. Keep it that one's even better. Wait, no. Whatever. No. no. Shut it's up. A no. What? See, as we covered in my deck tech, you all <laughs> just decided to play black red decks. Mm. A little revisionist history going on, but sure. Yeah, so there's no revisionist history at all. So I can go now. I've got I've got the receipts. Yes. I can de- I can definitely say that was not something that I intended to do because uh, it was definitely as, something Justin intended as, to do. As we talked about right yes, before, it was not I that decided first what I was going to be doing. 
Yeah. No, not at all. As we talked about before the game, I was the the silly person who decided to put Commander's Plate in my deck, facing it's great right now. Two Steve other can't block creatures. Deck. Yeah, with uh, two of his it's unblockable creatures. against Steven. Yeah, yeah. I, Other than all of his artifact creatures, but yeah, it does, it does not. Oh, it does just colors, right? Just colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful, uh, wonderful doctor, scouting on my part for. Where's my coffin purge? Coffin purge for a little old dockside extortionist. It's not what it's he for. just. He just wants some money. Just give him that bag. He's trying to get the bag. Can't you respect that? No. I'm trying to decide what I want to cast. I don't actually have an artifact. My life would be a lot easier if I had 15 Lotus Petals, John. I believe that. I think I'm going to go to attackers. Yarp. Mm-hmm. I'm going to attack Justin for eight. I have no blocks because they'd be flying. I go to 25. Cast Karn. Hmm. The good Karn, or no, that's the a Scion of Urza. Scion of Urza. It would be good. great if you'd have played, you know, the War of the Spark one and then just let Doxar Extortionist happen. The great creator. I would not have liked that. We're going to tick up. Choose I'm me. Gonna... It's an opponent. Choose me. Yeah. All right, John. You could you could just look at the cards first, Stephen. You don't have to blindly choose, but I guess if you want. Uh, to. So one of those go to your hands, right? And one goes under Karn. So Agent of Bolas or Forsaken Monument. How one much mana do you have right now? Real scary. I Both have of those two. cards are very very scary. I have two mana, and I cannot cast the Forsaken Amulet. Yeah, you can't cast either, either, right? I, I can't cast either technically. Although All I right. could just have a land in my hand and cast it. Uh but. I, I don't think you do. Um, I'll give you the Tezzeret. I think that's the l l the least scary of the two. Somehow. They're both very scary. Somehow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm done. I didn't have a land. You, you don't want me to have this card anyway. No. You're going to get it next turn, right? If I that card if, if if is still around. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy might be able to kill it. I don't have a blocker. True. Yeah, he's swung with all his flyers. Uh, I will play an over-eager apprentice. I'll nice. pay the one. So eager. Too eager. And I'll be done. You'll be done, you said. John, if you just willing to make the sacrifice of putting your grave merchant in the graveyard, I'll get rid of the Dockside Extortionist. Yeah, got it. Seems like a fair trade for everybody. Got uh, it. I'll play War Room. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, your commander has two colors. We added it a color. Does. Don't forget that. Yeah. It does does have two colors, which is <laughs> I will attack the card. Uh, it's for five, right? For Go five. To one. Yeah. So yeah. I'll have to kill my card to get it. Which yep. you will. You will do. Uh, I probably will. That card's. It's not bad. That's the word I would use. It is not. Um, Gives your colorless creatures plus two, plus two, and your colorless mana taps for additional. Yeah. Whatever you have a permanent yeah. for, yeah, generic mana, you get an additional. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, Andy gains two life. Mm -hmm. If I guess a colorless spell, but. Yeah. Can't possibly be any of those in there. Uh, what about even right now? All right. Um, I'm going to. Day five and cast your berserker. Uh, I'm going to cast Lavisa Cold Eyes. Mm -hmm. Paying the tax. The queen. No, no tax. I feel like I should do that. Sounds like a good plan. I feel like you should do what? I've been debating turning this Mirage Mirror into a copy of the Rhystic Study to get an extra card. You could. Uh. Is, is this good? Yes. Okay. It's, you have, oh, it's a human lord. Yeah, it's good. 
I see that now. I see that now. It's a human lord, not a berserker. I just assumed. Mm. It's not a barbarian human. It's not a barbarian warrior or berserker. Or berserker. Yeah, it's none of the above. Uh, Justin, I know I attacked you. You you did. I know it too. But you don't have to. You you don't have to do what you're thinking of doing. (laughs) Well, let me just ask you a question. Reciprocate. Yeah, you're right. Let me just ask you a question, and I understand why you did. But what are you going to do on your turn? Well, that all depends on what the... I need you to answer the question, though. It's so (laughs) hard to answer. I got so much stuff in my hand. (laughs) If I draw a black mana, I'm playing Bolas of Sizzle. I'm just telling you. Oof, Lord. Wow. (laughs) I'm playing that. that. I don't think you're making your case here, Stephen. Yeah, it's not... I think think you're actually making a bad case for you to to not be attacked. He he asked me. I mean, I, I got blockers. If you don't, if I don't attack you, who are you sending those those little thopters to? Um, oh my God! Just make a choice. Not not you. Are you sending them to me? Oh. Not you. Not okay. you. Somewhere not at you. Somewhere not at me. How big mm. is your um your big? Yeah, that one. No, eight. the master of Ethereum. Master of it's, Ethereum. It's eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Too much, too much for me. All right. I am going to. Hmm. Where would I want you to send all that to? I'm just going to, I'm just going to relax, actually. I'm just going to say go. Why? Just going to relax. Yes, I go. I'm going to put a counter on Angular. Got it. Seems good. Hmm. Interesting. That's a good card. I like that. Mm -hmm. On your your upkeep, I am going to make Mirage Mirror into a copy of Rhystic Study. Roger that. Roger that. Mirage or that. So this Jeremy trying to tax I fig- me? I figure you've got enough cards in hand that you're probably going to want to play one big spell or multiple small spells, and uh, you don't, you don't, you don't pay taxes. So he is trying to tax you because he knows you like to avoid them. What you gonna do with that Karn there? Tick it up again. You gonna find something better than that Forsaken Monument? No, I'm not gonna find something, but maybe I wanna I keep Karn. I don't Maybe you do. Maybe you do wanna keep Karn. Now that he's trying to tax me, sounds like he's trying to get attacked. <laughs> Because he made a heuristic study, that is why. I will get mine for second. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a slight against Steven. It only costs him three mana. Because I, you know, I'm gonna wanted to draw an extra card. Forsaken monument. Are you gonna pay the tax? No, he can <sighs> as predicted. Mm-hmm. I get another Nick Miller. I don't. You do. I'm going to cast Cranial Blading. For free? Yep. You gain two life. You do gain two life. It's a lot of life you got going on there. I'm going to pay for that. I'm at 21. Now at the time when I betray Parnell, what does everyone at home think, right? (laughs) They think, yep, just another episode of Commander versus. Steven definitely is going to just backstab Parnell right now, obviously. Yeah, the thing is, I actually want to keep up the scavenger grounds for now. 
Um, we're just going to attack John with two Dick Miller tokens. What is that, eight? Just, uh, yes. They're, they're four force, yeah. Yeah. Are they, they don't have vigilance, right? No, but I, I, there have, I have four that can attack. I'm just yeah, so just right tap here. those two. Yeah. And then I'm going to flip this back around. Just for eight, huh? Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Is it fine? It seems like I think it's fine. seems not okay. Could have attacked with more. Well, could have, but uh, it's eight's enough. You know, we get our life totals to a relative number. That's fine. He's, he yeah. said eight is enough. Mm. Are you done, when, Stephen? When eight's enough, right, I Stephen. Jeremy, I'm going to upkeep. Mark this okay. day. Uh. Yeah, I'll make it into a heuristic study again. So it can't change again, right? No, uh, it's now a heuristic study. It is now a heuristic study. So if you want to... Well, what's going on here? Send Jeremy to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, my face cam seems to not want to stay on. Don't know why. It's being persnickety. Don't you just hate persnickety cameras? Do. It's uh, kind of my job. I'm going to play Commander Sphere. Paying the two. Thank you. No, it's fine. They can draw. Mm. Oh, pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm, liking this. I'm liking this. Had black and then sacrifice it? All right. Yep. That's what it was. Yep. All right. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Jeremy. All of it, you say? Well, not all of it. The zero one's going to hang back. <laughs> not all of it. Well, you got me. Um, I will block the two biggest ones. They're all two power. Every single one of his creatures are two power. This one's a two three. Yeah, they're all two power. So whatever you want to block. Okay. Um, I will block. These, if you if you block anything that dies, I get a Eldrazi spawn for for what it's worth. Oh sure, um, I'll block the two three, and I'll block your commander, I guess. So you're blocking these two. Yep. Or the, the okay. The yeah, the pawn, and then the your commander. That's fine. Okay. So the pawn will die. Your commander. Your will commander live, does not die because it's just nope. one one. Oh, it's just a one-one. Okay. Yeah, but everybody's going to take two. I'm going to gain two, and then take. I will only take one. And Jeremy, you will only gain one. Okay. Because an attacking get, creature died. I yep. get a spawn for pawn with log buying, right? Yep. Hmm. How do I want to play this? Indeed. Hmm, indeed. Indeed. How much I did still, you take, Jeremy? I, I still took another four, right? Some yeah. uh, four. These two came at you, yes, four. Yeah. How many creatures died right there? Just uh, two or three. Three, 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 total? three died. So two of Jeremy's and three mm -hmm. total. So, so don't me and John each lose five? No. This one is just my creatures. Yeah, so the two from that, and then, yep. then his, his guy count all the creatures? No, it's only attacking creatures. So oh, you so guys, the blockers don't count. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So but technically, means, you lost three. Yeah, they would have both lost three. They both lose three, and uh, all right, I I lose one. Jeremy gains one. I'm gonna um. I would have stayed even, right? No, because you would have gained two. I would have gained gonna... two, but. No. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I'm going to discard a card and sacrifice over Eager Apprentice to add three black to my pool. Okay. I'm going to activate ball four. I like that. Hmm. Wow. 
I mean, you have scavenger grounds. What does it matter? Bring them hit, all back. Hit the, hit the graveyards and it doesn't back. do anything. And then I don't have a bunch of creatures in my graveyard for Balthor later. Yeah, it's fine. We're scavenger grounds. Don't bring them back. Don't bring them back. All right. I'll add two and cast damnation. Yeah, I'll fierce guardianship. Are you going to... I still have a Rhystic study, by the way. Yeah, both so, of you got paid for. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Your, your, your creature's not dead. It sure isn't. And then Steven can't pay, right? Yeah. No. All right, I'm uh, done. I will... Well, that would have been good. Pay to life. To draw a card. Would have been real good had you uh, resolved not that. Not really. Why not? It's the same position for where I'm at. Jazz hands, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have been better because then everyone else would have similarly been in a dragon same Soul boat. Summits. Well, what, what if Jared have... untaps and damnations now? I'll have three, three, threes at the end of it. I'll take it. Uh, treasure map. Yeah. And attacks. So I got attacks. Are you paying the tax? Am I paying the tax? Uh, yes. Treasure map. Uh, I will go after John since he uh, attacked me so recklessly. Yeah, you can stay because you're scared of Jeremy. You can stay because you're scared sure. of Steven. That's okay. Is that what it is? I don't know. Okay. Are you? Um, and then. I will um time to burn it all down. Yeah. I'm gonna sack this for two and then uh so we've got two mana floating. I will blasphemous act. Use one to pay. No, I. Yeah, use one to pay for the tax. So I have one colorless floating. Yep. Does that resolve? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, lose three and draw three. One, two. Three. And then I will one, two, three, four, and five. Let's play Gadrek again. Oh, and they're Nick Millers. We can have two Nick Millers in play. You do. Then I will move to my end step. At the beginning of my end step, create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. So Good news, Jeremy. Yeah? It's this many. It's 12. Thanks. No reason I was counting that. During your end step, I'm going to cast uh, Rise of Rise the Dreadmar. of the Dreadmar. Nice. And I'm going to get 12 two, 2 black zombie berserkers, where X is the number of non-token creatures that died this turn, which is 12. It's pretty sweet. You can't pay that, right? So I'm drawing a card? I cannot pay. Definitely cannot pay. Super duper can't pay. Oh, I didn't pay for my Gadrick, I guess. I don't think it matters. Now. No. I think I'm super dead. All right. That's the end of your turn, right? Yep. Um, I mean, nobody's nobody's super dead. I'll play a mountain. I'm gonna cast. Uh, what are what are we we super dead now? No, not everyone. I mean, this is uh, just John 40, and I. It's forty-eight damage. So. Uh, 
Steven can block two. Jeremy can block one. How many cards do you have in your hand, Jeremy? I have four cards in my hand. How many cards do you have in your hand, Steven? One of them I can't cast. What? So I have eight, and one of them I can't cast. Okay. It's ball of Citadel. I still don't have the black. Yeah. Um. So you have two. So you have two blockers, and these are uh, these are four fours. So I would need to attack you with. Uh, so let's see. So these would be the blocked ones. So then you would mm. take sixteen. Thirty-two. You can't I never trust berserkers. All right, I will attack Stephen with all of these, and then I will attack uh, Jeremy for eight. So if you kill me, you lose a point, right? No, you don't have soul possession in the last place. Well, that sucks. I will. Pay two. Make Mirage Mirror a copy of. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, Lavisa, block two. Okay, right. One of these will die. Steven, you dead? Uh, um, say that I'm dead. I, He's asking I'm, if you're blocking anything. I, no, I'm yeah. not blocking. I'm not. If does blocking save me? No. no. Not, then I'm not blocking. I'm hitting, this will, is this is 32. I will Put sacrifice the Lavisa to tap treasure map. By the way, sure. Let's write one. All right. Well, Justin, I could have killed you, and I I'm did. Done. And you paid me back in that way. Mm. What, what was I supposed to do? Kill John! Kill Jeremy! John has one card in his hand. No, I had no cards. John had no cards in his hand. Why would I kill John? Well, he was looking at you. I feel like I still might have the opportunity to kill John. Yeah, I imagine so. I don't think that that will pass me by. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I uh, will tap six and lose two and play Baffler. Yep. And I will be done. All right. Upkeep. I will pay one to treasure. Map. Scry one. How many cards do you have in your hand, Jeremy? Four? I currently have four. Okay. That on the bottom. Draw for the turn. That does nothing for me. I like these zombies berserkers because they're like old man zombies. Play a yeah. smoldering marsh. I think I have pretty much like maybe one out. So I'm going to pay two life to draw a card. That is also not it. All right, I will pay three, four, five, six, seven for Gadrek. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I uh, feel like I'm just going to cheese a point here by sacrificing. Hey, do what you got to do, Jeremy. To gain two mana. 
uh, use two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have two left because you had nine. Nine. And he cost nine, and you had two two mana. Yeah, two extra mana. So yeah, you have two 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 treasures. Do that. You cast your commander four more times. And pass the turn because I got nothing else. You get a treasure though, right? Don't forget your treasure. I do yeah. have one treasure token left over after that died. But did it die twice? Uh, it's just it died if, once. Oh no, it just died once. It just died once. Yeah, it just died once. I cast it twice. Okay. How many cards do you have in your hand, Jeremy? Five. All right. I will. I'm going to cast uh, Jessica's Will. Uh, it says, choose one if you control your commander. As you cast this, choose both. So I can choose both. I can get a red mana for each card target opponent's hand, which would be Jeremy's. And then I exile the top three cards of my deck, and I can play them this turn. Yep. All right, so I'm going to get five red. And then exile one, two, three. I don't want to play any of those. They're exiled. There's two lands and a deathbed offering. And I'm not going to be casting. Deathbed offering? I'm probably going to not cast that deathbed offering. I think you should just you just do it. I could. I could. I could do it. I could, I could think about doing it. But I'm going to not do it. Um, I'm going to tap uh, Black and Cavern to play this uh, Cleaving Reaper. which is a Berserker. I'm not going to use the rest of this mana. Um, and then I'm going to go to combat. Uh, this is seven. Go to six and then five. I think I will just attack... Uh, I'm going to attack Jeremy with six four fours. I'm going to attack John with five four fours and the cleaving reaper. Cleaving's a flyer. Yeah, it's a flying trample. Five three. Mm, I'll block your token. What am I taking from from that? Uh, these are four fours. So you're taking sixteen plus seven. Twenty three. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Super dead. Well, you got Dreadmarn, Steven. Dread it. Run well, from if, it. If your zombies out, froze. Yeah, I could have, I guess, just let the spell resolve. I think Jeremy would have killed them all. But. Yeah, but you're really good about countering spells that then win just in the game, so we're just going to yeah. add another notch to your belt on that for this week. I don't really see a way out of that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's no, true, because John, no cast, John cast Damnation, then Jeremy cast. Yeah. I was literally, I was over here, I was like making tallies for the number of creatures that died, and then that, then the uh, Damnation got counterspelled, and I was like, I'm going to erase that. The only thing in my defense, John, is if I let it resolve, I then can't cast Fierce Guardianship. It's so <laughs> not like I can get something afterwards. Like, sure. I just won't be able to use it. And then, and then Jeremy... Willing, like before he did anything else, he sacrificed his commander, and I was like, and one tick. Yeah. Sure enough. Sure enough, it happened. He blessed He did. They they took the game from me and gave it to you. That's what that's you and Jeremy did that, John. That's what happened. Yeah. Well, I probably would kill all of you with kind of the same way Justin did. Yeah, exactly. A bunch of right. four fours and he had yeah, like, but see, you could have just killed Justin the turn before and you just decided to attack him for eight or nothing. I told him I wouldn't attack him. Yeah, I, I got it. I have a noisy yeah. visitor. I could have killed you too, John. I didn't. I showed mercy. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. It kind of felt like mercy. I mean, it didn't help me in the end. I, Justin was not merciful in return. That's not... Steven, the whole... I was, you're forgetting the part where you didn't attack me because I didn't attack you the previous turn. That's how that happened. That was the transaction. I didn't attack you, and then you didn't attack me. I can't, I, I Is mean, that I the reason? I can't believe that the berserkers attacking? were cowards for a change and um, didn't attack me. And were, No, they attacked you plenty. They just waited a turn. It, they, well, they waited until the coast was clear. Mm -hmm. That's the best time to do your berserking. <laughs> 
No, Berserkers just go. Yeah, they just go. Y'all it's can okay. talk to me all you want about what Berserkers do and don't do, but scoreboard. And that's so, you have the scoreboard. So Yeah, I mean, I don't, like they berserked at the appropriate time, the appropriate amount of berserking. Yeah, thanks for keeping me in last, friend. Yeah, no problem. I figured you'd want to go first. More than anything. Great. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do so at Redneck Wins, at A Natural Death, at Jeremy Knoll, at J Parnell One, and at D I R Kyle West, hashtag scoops. Surely there'll be some good scoops coming out of this episode. Now, I can't promise that. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that I can speak it into existence. Maybe. No answer from Kyle. He's just great. He's too busy uh, trying to get that moment. If you were on, if you were on YouTube, like, comment, share, subscribe, binge as usual. Uh, you do most of those things pretty good. There's always one you could do better. I'm not saying which one, but you're all smart. You can figure it out. I've definitely um, received multiple messages saying big time binger here. So great. I like that. I like that. That's what I like to hear. And of course, we want to thank our sponsors for this week. Like every week, Carnox chairs, you can go to Carnox.com slash SCG to tape, save 10% off of your Carnox chair. And of course, all of our shirts that we wear every week are from Coalesce Apparel. So you can go to Coalesce Apparel dot shop. And use gift code SCG at checkout to save 10% off of your t-shirts and hoodies. They have a bunch of new designs, uh, specifically their uh, their South Beach collection, which are all very cool. Yeah, I think uh, John uh, John and Jeremy have some South Beach stuff on. They have uh, mm-hmm. Woo Berg and Anti Mulligan Mulligan Club yep. in the South Beach collection, black Wait. and white. They look really great. I thought you were wearing the same shirt. We are wearing the same shirt. That's just the options that you have in the South Beach line. Oh, okay. I thought he meant that no, one of you was no, wearing we're, one. We're both, no, we're both wearing the Anti Mulligan Mulligan Club in black. There's also a white one. There's also a uh, Wooberg in white and a Wooberg in black with the neon South Beach styling. Yep. But they only have one of those on, Steven. Yeah, no, I, I just. I thought they were wearing the same shirt. They are. See, look, I was right. You were. Uh, and of course, StarCityGames.com premium seven ninety nine a month gets you access to all of our premium articles and content, as well as 15% off of supplies, 10% off of singles, and 5% off of sealed product. I know we have uh, Time Spiral remastered up right now. Uh, by the time you, this comes out, we'll have plenty of cards Plenty of singles you can pre-order and sealed product that you can pre-order as well. So if you use that premium, you can get your discounts there, of course. Make sure to get your Thraven Inspectors and Vanishing Lights. Yes, one of those cards is much better than the other one. It's true. I got the, I have a artist proof Thraven Inspector, and now I'm like, man, I might have to get a different artist proof Thraven Inspector because that one looks sweet. Have you ever had the desire to get an artist proof vanishing light, Jeremy? No, not at Never all. Never once. Well, Never once. Wild. Unfortunate, unfortunate lost soul. I did just receive an artist proof fourth edition Wrath of God. It's pretty sweet. sweet. That's, no, that's, that's my newest. It's not signed, right? No. Oh. So it's almost as sweet as uh, a banishing line. If, that, if that's oh. signed, Jeremy, you probably don't have it anymore because you probably need to get rid of it. Yeah, probably. Definitely. Because <laughs> that means you didn't get that signed recently. Mm-mm. Or someone didn't. No. no. Anyway, uh, if you want to sell or trade in your cards, go to starcitygames.com slash sell. We have a lot of great options for you to choose from. Uh, you can mail on cards via the buy list. We have a ship and sell program where you can simply just put your cards into a box, send them to us, we'll send you an offer, and then either cash or store credit, your choice. Or if you're in the Roanoke area, you can, of course, come to us. And we'll work with you. You can sit down with the buyer at the Star City Game Center. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Send us your fan submission lists. Getting towards near the end of the season, I think. 
Yeah, I never know how far away we are from the end of the season. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's a season that never ends. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can just send them in at any time, too. We'll, we'll gladly accept them and keep track. Always. With the amount of deck lists I get on a weekly basis, it could be the next week might as well be the, the end of the season. Right. Fan request deck. So we're getting them in. Uh, but I believe that is it. We have something special coming up next week. If if you were paying attention on social media, you may know what it is. And if not, you have to tune in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can you can do so. See when we Commander versus episode pops up in your feed. And then do those other things. Like, share, subscribe, comment, binge for the algorithm. It's not for us. It's really for the algorithm, which is sure. really for you. Yeah. 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 So, Keeps the lights on. Exactly. Except for Steven sometimes. It wasn't lights that Steven was having a problem with. Yeah, it wasn't the lights. The lights stayed on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, for Director Kyle West, for Steven Green, for John Suarez, for Jeremy Knoll, I'm Justin Parnell. See you folks next week.